a warm greeting. Today is Thursday, September 21, 2023. This is the meteorologist Ruben Garcia. In this video, I will be providing an update on what has been designated as Invest 90, which is associated with the tropical wave we are monitoring and is currently located southwest of the Cape Verde Islands. We will be analyzing the changes in the forecasts, as now the majority of global models anticipate that this disturbance could develop into a hurricane but at a fairly safe distance from the Caribbean. Briefly, I wanted to mention that the area of bad weather located southeast of the United States has been designated as potential cyclone number 16 because it is expected to start moving northward and impact some states on the east coast of the United States over the next few days. In fact, the National Hurricane Center, in its bulletin, estimates that it will become a tropical storm or subtropical storm in the early hours of Saturday, prior to entering North Carolina. A tropical storm warning has been issued, including sectors of eastern North Carolina, Virginia, Delaware, and Maryland. If you want to know more details about the expected effects in the eastern United States, I invite you to search for a video I recorded yesterday discussing this forecast. Now, let's move on to discussing the tropical wave with a high probability of becoming a tropical depression as it moves west-northwest over the next seven days. At 2 p.m., the National Hurricane Center increased the chances of it becoming a tropical depression to 80% over the next seven days. Invest 90 continues to show signs of organization. In the infrared satellite image, you can see that it is generating strong thunderstorms near the wave axis, and if this trend continues, the National Hurricane Center will likely continue to increase the chances of cyclonic development. Now that this wave has been designated as Invest 90, we have some intensity models. You can see that it is preliminarily expected to strengthen over the next seven days, with some long-term models estimating it could become a major hurricane. The most important thing is to determine its track and whether it will eventually approach the Caribbean or maintain a northwestward trajectory passing well northeast of the Lesser Antilles. If you had the opportunity to watch the video I recorded yesterday, I mentioned that Invest 90's track would depend on how quickly it moved westward. Yesterday, some models estimated that it would reach 55 degrees west longitude by Tuesday night or Wednesday morning, which would give it a chance to move over the eastern Caribbean. However, there were also other models estimating it would reach 55 degrees west longitude by Wednesday night or Thursday morning. In that case, it would have the opportunity to move northwestward because the high pressure in the Atlantic is expected to weaken between Tuesday night and Wednesday. So, the translation speed of this future cyclone will likely determine whether it takes a path far from the Caribbean or moves more to the west. Yesterday, for example, the GFS model had a more westward track, while the European model indicated a northwestward trajectory. Let's see what changes have occurred today, especially in relation to the global model forecasts. Let's start with the GFS model. You can see that it projects movement entirely westward over the next five days. By late Sunday afternoon or Monday morning, it has a tropical depression or tropical storm developing hundreds of miles east of the Lesser Antilles. In the latest GFS run, you can see that it forecasts this system to turn northeastward by midweek, passing well away from the Caribbean without posing a threat. While this is just one model run, we have seen a significant trend in the GFS model indicating a slower translational movement, resulting in tracks that are increasingly farther from the Caribbean. For example, in this image, we have the GFS model's projection for Wednesday morning, and with each run, it has this disturbance moving farther east, which means the model is adjusting to a much slower translational movement, similar to what the European model showed. These trends are definitely favorable for the Caribbean region because the chances of it moving over the region have decreased considerably today. Now, let's look at the European model's projection which shows a very similar westward movement as the American model, possibly developing a tropical depression or tropical storm between Monday and Tuesday of next week hundreds of miles east of the Lesser Antilles. However, like the GFS model, it forecasts a northwestward movement by midweek that would take this cyclone well away from the Caribbean without posing a threat. While this is a long-term forecast, the two best models are currently in agreement on this track, which gives us greater confidence that it is very likely to veer away from the Caribbean. In fact, the European model has been very consistent with this forecast, estimating that the center will be located in this area during the Wednesday night runs. This gives us confidence in the European model's forecast. However, it is important that we continue to monitor its evolution. Remember that this is a system in the process of development, and some changes in the track are possible over the next few days. We also need to pay attention to other models. For example, the UKMIT model in its latest projection has a track much farther west compared to the GFS and European models. While it currently forecasts this system to pass northeast of the Caribbean, it is close enough to warrant continued monitoring of Invest 90. 
the German model in its latest runs has changed its forecast to be very similar to that of the European and GFS models, passing well away from the Caribbean region. The Canadian model has a track closer to the Caribbean, passing about 50 to 75 miles from the Lesser Antilles. This type of forecast is why it is important to remain vigilant for any changes in the movement of Invest 90. For now, it's good news that we are seeing a trend indicating that it should pass far from the Caribbean. This is also evident in the ensemble members of the European model, where all members show a northwestward track, away from the Caribbean, during the afternoon today. On the other hand, the ensemble members of the GFS model, the majority of them, have also joined the European model ensemble. They all show tracks to the northwest-north, with the vast majority taking this disturbance far from the Caribbean, except for approximately 10% of the members. For these less probable scenarios, we will continue to monitor Invest 90's evolution. Until we have a defined system or tropical depression, we won't have an official track from the National Hurricane Center. We will continue to monitor it but with calm. For now, there is no reason to worry in the Caribbean. I hope everyone has an excellent night. Until tomorrow.